Hi, everyone. Hello. Um, so I think most of you have already ex either experienced or read about the symptoms. Uh, most of you probably have children who have had symptoms, especially if you go to school. My children go to the school here in Porter Ranch, so you know, I've experienced it also. I'll just go through real quickly just the differences that you'll experience and why the children are kind of more at risk, especially the little ones. Uh, in terms of physiology, uh, for children, the smaller children have a larger lung surface area in proportion to their body surface area. So even at the same concentrations of what, whatever's in the air in terms of these pollutants, you can see a child may have a higher concentration proportional to their body size. And you can see even if adults in the same household that may not be having symptoms, it's highly likely that the children will have, have symptoms at the same concentrations. Um, some of the other risk factors for children are if you have asthma, obviously this is inhaled and it's an irritant. So if you have asthma, it can exacerbate asthma symptoms. We're entering the season of respiratory illnesses, pneumonias, viral illnesses that can also be exacerbated by the added on irritation from the things that, that are breathed in. Uh, children with skin um, problems such as eczema or highly sensitive skin, I don't know if, uh, I know with repeated exposures you can get um, irritation and rashes and I know there's been reports of children having rashes and that's another thing to think about. Uh, there, I think we've talked about there isn't a lot of data out there about long-term exposure. Um, a lot of data is from short-term or large concentrations of exposure and uh, because of that, I think there's two things that we know. We know these, these effects are dose dependent. So the more you're exposed, the longer you're exposed, the symptoms are going to be worse. And the second thing is you can treat the symptoms, but you're not really, you're kind of masking your body's effect of what's going on. And the, the, unfortunately, the only real way to kind of get away from the symptoms and kind of be free of them is to really, unfortunately, have to, you have to relocate. You have to get away from the environment. So. Um, I think that's it. Thank you very much, Dr. King. We appreciate it.